Well, g'day. It's just sitting down, enjoying the serenity of the morning. It's a beautiful day. Did hear a bit of a commotion last night, though, with the local wildlife. Um, not to worry. Got a few jobs on today. The main one, after we've tended to the animals, is to take care of this back field. So, going to be doing a lot of mowing today. Uh, and if our brass dries over there, we'll bale it. Um, yeah, so I just, I want to get this mode. I do need to mix some TMR, I, if this silage here is ready. Yes, we have silage. Alright, I'll pull this tractor out, because we'll need to get the trailer off. This trailer over here. And this is probably be where it, it'd be worthwhile having the other trailer, or the other tractor out, because then I can use this as the front loader and use it as the transporter. Let's do that. Move this guy out the way. While we're here, I'll grab a bale of this silage and pop it in. I might grab one of the, the top ones at the back. And pop it in there. Off you go. There we go. Now I'll grab the other tractor and we'll hook it up but then I can see what uh, ratio we've got. I was, I was thinking about it and I realised what it is I like about this tractor. It's very similar to a tractor that Dad's got back home. That's what it is. He's got a, a big case. I can't remember. It might be a 240 or a 250 or something like that. Yeah, because I was reflecting on it thinking what was it about the the case it just felt like putting it on an old pair of shoes and, and that's what it is it's because I've used a very similar tractor before right so she's full you back soon horses and cheapses this tractor is a little bit wider than the Massey that's obvious. There we go. Now. Out you go. Alright. That one's happy. Okay, I just learned that it pays to bring the Massey over here because you're going to need it for cleaning up the straw anyway. What we might do is put the put the sprayer on it and we can spray the fields with it. And when I I'll come over I'll clean up the, the cow's feeding area there. We'll just pop this away. There we go. Jump out there and we'll disconnect it. Yeah, it's a big tractor to put in this shed. There we go. Okay. I'll leave you open. I might use that straw shredder. Okay, I'm going to leave this guy right here. Fire this one up. I'm going to drop these forks off and put a bucket on. Kidoki, where's the... there it is there. Oh, 
hooked up. And we're almost full. Alright. Don't need to fill it up then. While I'm here, I'll scoop out the sheep. Top up their water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm short of sheep. Maybe that's what that commotion was last night. I did hear a wolf. Didn't sound like a pack though. I reckon it's taken one of my sheep. Well that's nasty. Hmm. Might have to go do something about that. Okay, crop spraying time. Let's extend this. Probably should lift it up. how far out the booms come. That should be right. It's almost going to the edge of the grass there. Uh, uh, not quite. Try that again. Still not quite. Pull over a little bit further. There we go. Okay, might send up the the drone we can watch from outside. that field done let's pack this up yep, there we go Just wait a while while that's being packed up we'll go spray my field trying to decide whether I spray again because I'm going to damage a ton of crop. This is really wide wheels on this tractor. But the spray is not super wide, so I'm probably going to, like, I don't know, trample maybe 15% of the crop just in spraying it. And I don't know that that's going to give me greater than 15% yield, so I don't think I'm going to spray it again. I think I'll spray this bit, the bit that's low that I just planted last episode, and, and that'll be it. Which is a bit of a bummer because it's going to affect my yield again. Anyway, we'll send this drone up again. back that's all the spraying for the day since I'm not gonna do that which I'm spewing about again okay, if I had a tractor with narrow tires or if I well, maybe that's an option for this one put narrows on it I guess I'm not playing with it anymore even know if I can get narrows for it is that boom it's all packed up yep oh well let's uh, pop the tether on we'll see how we go 
We'll Ted with this, and maybe Ro with the big one. Ro with the case. Yeah, it has. It's just like composted down into the ground from the looks of it. Oh, what a shame. It's hardly worth doing. There's, there's bugger all there. Oh well, I guess we'll get to mowing then. Pack that up and just leave it here. This is going to take a while. plans. You can see that grass is dry and, and I've had a look at the weather and we've got four days of sunshine, so five days of sunshine. So I'm going to go and hook the windrower up to the Massey and just row this up because I don't want it drying. I'd like to make some silage bales um, as well as hay. Obviously I really need hay, I'm very low but really wanted to do some silage so we'll drop this down we'll duck over here and pop the rower on it I know it's kind of not what I planned but I think it's a good opportunity here We're nearly done. Around this last little bit here. And we'll be finished. Finished mowing anyway. So I've realised a few things. One is when I come to plough this big field, uh, there's covenants on the property that I can't plough through the gazetted tracks. So not really going to concern me. I'll still mow the tracks. I just can't plough over them. Um, so that's fine. They'll just have to, it won't be one huge field. It'll be multiple fields. So yeah. Uh, the other thing I've realised is if I'm going to keep these fields as grass fields, I'm going to leave the you know, the odd tree, like that one there to our left. If they were going to be arable, I'd really want to take them out. Because they're just spaced enough that they're frustrating. And in the way. And would need to go. So, I'll see how I go. I'm going to initially plough around them. And then depending on where they are in reference to the gazetted, you know, tracks, the roads, then they may go. I may come and pull them out. Alright, that's mowing done. That took some time. <laughs> I'm going to bring the baler out. I want to bale up these grass bales so I can turn them into silage. I don't want that grass grow, uh, drying out any anymore. So, we'll do that. I'll pop this in here. We'll hook up the baler. And then... Um, 
and bile up the grass. For starters, and then I'll I'll swap them over and put the tether on this. Oh sorry, the, the wind rower. I don't know that we're gonna need tetting. It's five days of um of dry weather, of sunny weather, I might be able to get away without tetting it, which would be ideal because that little tether is quite annoying. Oh, I can start over here, can't I? Waste not what not. Oh, looks like this was a straw bale anyway, it's going to be a combo bale. away. Pop it in here. I could take those trees out too actually. Anyway we'll take the horses for a ride. Oh while I'm riding Liberty I'll send Georgia the text. Just let her know about this wolf and that one of my sheep's gone. Tell her her cows are fine. Oh, I don't think the cows will be a, an issue. And the wolf gets in there, they'll go burko and rip it apart with their horns. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I'll, um... You know what I might do? I might go do a bit of hunting, see if I can track this wolf down. Otherwise I'll catch this tomorrow and we'll see if this grass is dried. There's two. The white one's injured. I don't seem to be too perturbed. Let's see if we can tag him. I need to reload. So we can go find him. Yep, the white one is down. The grey one, yep, it's down. That's two down. I just heard a bark down this way. There we go. Well, tagged it. Picked up, we picked up the trail. Now, honestly, I don't know if these are the wolves that took my sheep, but. If nothing else, it'll be thinning down the population. Hopefully word will get out. Oh, took him down. There he is. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Catch you soon.